Mad World. Here we are again in 2021 playing Mad World. This game has been set to... They said they were going to release, release this game back in like 2017, then 2018, then 2019. In 2020, they didn't really do much at all with or say anything at all. And here they are in 2021 with another alpha. And I still love the game, though. I mean, look at the, what you're seeing here. This game has a really dark and gritty atmosphere to it. The artwork is amazing. The sound design is amazing as well, which you guys will get to experience here in a minute towards the end of the video. But yeah, I still really love this game. The biggest downside of this game is it's an HTML5 game, so it's a browser game. You play it in your browser, and for that reason, it's... It's, it's pretty laggy. We'll just say it's pretty laggy, and I don't think, I'm not sure if it's going to actually work as the MMO they want it to work as. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was playable. It, it got laggy mostly just in, like, towns where you see, like, a lot of people in one place. But still, I really wish they would have gone with something else instead of trying to make a browser game here. I think if this game was just a normal standalone game, this this would be a hit. But... Yeah, they're really, really trying hard to make this a browser game, and I really hope that they make it work. Um, but as we saw in the alpha right now, like, this game has tons and tons of content. Lots of different skills and builds that you can make, and it's just, it's, it's really something that just is different compared to what we're used to, what we've seen over the years. The story is amazing, there's lots of detail, lots of character building you get really invested in the story at least i did uh, i know a lot of people that were, like skipped through most of the story and stuff so i put in at least 40 hours and i i only got through chapter one of the story and people who were just like skipping through it and stuff said they were on like chapter three and they're supposed to be up to like 10 chapters already so that means this game for the story alone already has like uh like 400 hours of play time that you can get out of it and when it does actually come out i'll definitely play through the whole story because like it's even with the bad translations and everything I was like really really into it and really enjoying the story but will this game actually release anytime soon who really knows like <laughs> it's obviously a full game and I don't know I think they're really I don't know why that what they're delaying I think they know that the the performance isn't so great because of the browser and all that stuff and who knows? Who really knows what they're actually doing? Like, I have no idea what they're doing. It's, it seems like it's a finished game. I think they're... I have no idea. Like, like I really... I'm not even going to try to guess any, at this point. I, re, I would love for them to release the game. I'd love to play through the whole story. Um, will this game actually be a success as, like, an MMO? Like, just, like, having a an MMO type of community behind it and all that sort of thing? I think it could succeed in that way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely fun. The PvP is actually pretty interesting. The fact that you can just start attacking people anywhere, anytime you want, in the middle of a town if you want, or, yeah, anywhere, is kind of cool. A lot of games aren't doing that anymore these days, and I, I, I personally think it's a cool, cool thing to have in a game. And uh, the PvE is really, really fun, too. Like, there's really interesting boss battles with... Pretty tough boss mechanics and yeah like the, the game is a good solid game and i think it could actually be a success even as a browser game especially if they get it working on mobile phone browsers that would be amazing i don't know like having played it on pc i don't know how playable this would be on a phone because you have a lot of buttons and hotkeys and stuff like that so um it might be pretty tough to play on a phone but if they do actually get it working and i know they have in the past said that they do want this to be a mobile title as well and i'm pretty sure they're working with netmarble at least they said at one point they're working with netmarble which is a mobile phone developer or mobile game developer so yeah we'll see what happens there anyway uh, yeah we can only wait and see I'm, i was actually surprised that they actually had this alpha it actually came out of nowhere they came they posted on their discord and said uh, in the facebook and said if this post gets 800 likes we'll throw up an alpha open alpha server and they did it and i was actually surprised i thought this actually was gonna be a dead game i thought they were gonna actually just scrap this project but it's I get, evidently it's still alive and they're still trying to make make it work somehow and i hope they do make it work anyway for the rest of this video i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of some of the highlights from 
my playing and streaming the game, and you guys can decide for yourselves if you think this would be something that you play or would like to play. Uh, what surprised me at the very end is that's when I actually unlocked this huge passive skill tree. <laughs> it's like, oh god, this game has a lot more depth than I thought it would, especially on the gameplay side of things. So, yeah, I really hope it comes out someday. Um, I, like, the, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with this game? I'll definitely keep my eye on it and uh, let you guys know if anything happens with it. But until now, this is all we've got. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, I don't really understand what that said. Is McKin like experimenting on people or what what the hell is going on in here? I'm gonna we just gotta assume that they were already dead before he brought them in here. Or is he a fucking weirdo? What's going on? Yeah, it's like just out of range. He has a lot of HP. Jesus. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Alright. What did I just push? I don't know what I pushed there. Die already. Jesus. So. Where are you going, honey? I told you that pain is art right. He's probably just going to kill himself. Look at the end. It's the end of the performance. Forward toward the exit. God damn it. Jesus. <laughs> That's fucking nuts, man. It's... And a butcher. Funny, those butchers are actually really squishy. They go down quick. Libby! Get up! Get up, Libby. You good? Give her a weapon. We're probably going to need some help here. What the f That way! Nice. So this is what they've been feeding all the babies to? Oh shit! Alright. Oh fuck. Maybe just freaking run. Sitting there and crying is not going to help anything. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good. I'll be good. I'll fight from the inside out, right? Okay, they're showing us uh, some of his abilities. The body collector. Ah, great. Okay, it's not a. F I can't make a full circle around him.
Okay, this is not going to be easy with all these ads. Okay. So if I just keep... Oh god, the lag. If I just keep throwing my grenades at the all these ads, and then using my single target on the main dude, I should hopefully uh, do the trick. Hopefully. All right, no more ads. That's good. I see a shadow. Was that sh okay? That's what that shadow is. Okay, this isn't so bad so far. Okay, now he's getting smart and cutting off my my path. Alright, we're under 50%. Okay, now it's getting crazy. Shit. He knows my play. Ooh, that hurts. Oh god. This reminds me of freaking Belial. Okay, now those those big boys come out. Okay. Except Lyle didn't have ads the constant the whole time. Why aren't you throwing it? Twenty-five percent. Getting there. Oh, sh stand right here. I think this is GG. He's out of he's out of tricks. He's giving up. Oh, I can see a face now. Oh, loots. Got some legendary gloves and a legendary pre uh, preset right here. Yeah, it's presets. It's all in Korean, though. Dude, this reminds me of Raziel right now. This reminds me of some of my old Raziel builds, bro.